it used to be every time Colorado needed money for something, everybody would, would ask us, what about the pot tax? We even had a segment here called, what about the pot tax? Now, people are asking whether Colorado's needs could be funded through sports betting money. Maybe we'll even have a segment called, I want the name to be a surprise. Here's Marshall Zellinger. The overs, the unders. Let's get the most important question out of the way. The upsets. Would Democratic State Representative Alec Garnett have voted yes on his own idea of legalizing sports gambling? Can we not do the tackle? If he knew how many ads would follow? Um... Uh, yes, there's no doubt that people are frustrated and annoyed by the billboards, the ads, and all of the advertising. And based on some feedback from viewers, there's also confusion on the money the state earns from people betting on sports. It's not as much money as I think people think because it's not based on how many dollars are bet. Nope. Put simply, Colorado wins when you lose. If you win your bet, Colorado gets nothing. Between the first sports bet on May 1st, 2020 through February, $1.84 billion has been bet on sports. Gamblers won back $1.72 billion, meaning overall sports bettors lost and casinos made $115 million. That's not what Colorado gets. That's the gross amount. Not gross because so much was lost. Gross meaning gross versus net. The net casino proceeds from you losing your bets is $43 million. Colorado's cut comes from that, which totals almost $4.5 million. And most of the money, not all, is meant to fund the Colorado Water Plan. Even when the, when the Nuggets lose ever so often, which isn't going to happen anymore with that Gordon trade, or more likely when the Rockies only win 20 games because of the terrible Arenado trade, uh, that don't feel too bad that your dollars that you lost are still going to go towards causes that you care a lot about, which is protecting our water and our public lands in the state that we love. These are projects like um, increasing storage, agricultural projects, projects um, around conservation, land use, drought planning. Becky Mitchell is director of the Colorado Water Conservation Board, which expects to get the first chunk of money for water projects in the fall. When Colorado water wins, we all win. Except for the people who lost, because without their money, Colorado water can't win. Trying to do the math of money bet versus money paid out versus money lost isn't as simple as it should be because the sports betting apps and casinos, you'll know from those commercials, are offering free bets and other free promotions and you have to subtract that money from the equation so the apps are sucking people in with promotions that don't necessarily benefit Colorado from a tax perspective, Kyle. I, I, I've seen that ad one or, or several million times. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs>